Hey everyone, so if you missed my review on the Surly Ghost Grappler here, it's linked in the description below. But in that video review, I talked about how the Ghost Grappler has a very trail forward geometry. And actually, if you overlay the Ghost Grappler over the Surly Krampus, there are a lot of similarities there. So I've been thinking, why not swap out these drop bars and drop bar controls for a flat bar? And of course, flat bar controls. So in this video, I'm gonna share what you need to actually do that, as well as share my thoughts on how the Ghost Grappler rides with a flat bar. Let's do it. Hey everyone, so if you like what you see in our videos, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you wanna help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. This is bikepacking.com's annual membership that includes industry discounts, monthly giveaways, and twice a year you get the Bikepacking Journal. I've provided a link below with more details. All right, so you might be asking yourself, why are you wanting to throw a flat bar on a drop bar mountain bike? Well, the Ghost Grappler is arguably the longest drop bar mountain bike on the market. And both Logan and myself mentioned in our reviews that we'd be interested to see how the bike rode with flat bars. So here we are. All right, so what are the parts that you're gonna need to do this? Well, you're gonna need a trigger shifter. And I ended up just getting the Advent X one by 10 trigger shifter that works with the Advent rear derailleur. It just made sense. And it's relatively cheap. This comes in at $34. Now the Advent X group on this bike, it felt great as a whole. I really liked the levers and the hoods. I felt really locked in. And just the shifting was relatively crisp for say the Advent X drivetrain, which is definitely not nearly as expensive as some other drivetrains out there. You're also going to need some short pull brake levers. So these are mechanical brake levers and they are of the short pull variety. Short pull brake levers work specifically with road brake calipers and that's what comes on the Surly Ghost Grappler. These short pull brake levers, they're not easy to find right now. And I ended up looking at all of my local bike shops but I came up empty, so I resorted to buying these online. These Sora brake levers come in at, I think, $39. So depending on the length of both the brake and shifter cable and housing, I may potentially need to replace this stuff. The brake line and housing comes with the Sora brake set, and the shifter cable will come with the MicroShift Advent X uh, trigger shifter, but I might need some housing for that shifter line and I have that right here. I'll also need a dropper post lever because the trigger right here on this drop bar lever actuates the dropper post. So I have a pretty large stash of these right here, but they're relatively inexpensive. And finally, you're going to need, of course, a flat bar and some sort of grips. This is a Salsa Rustler bar. This comes with a 31.8 millimeter clamp diameter to fit the stem on the Ghost Grappler. And the stem on the Ghost Grappler, I think is a 50 millimeter stem. So it is pretty short, but the reach and everything should come out okay. If I need to extend it, I can definitely add a longer stem. And then I also have some Ergon GA3 grips. These are definitely my favorite grip out there. All right, so I'm gonna finish swapping out this stuff and take it out for a spin. I just wanna take a moment and let everybody know that this video is supported in part by Salsa Cycles. If you've been watching this channel or just following bikepacking.com as a whole, you probably have heard of Salsa Cycles and might know some of the great bikes and products they offer but they also publish a lot of great stories, videos, and educational content on the journal section of their website. I've always loved their long story short videos, their bike packing inspiration, and their resource articles. So click on this link right here for their adventure by bike inspiration, and it's also linked in the description below. All right, so real quick, just talking about the install process. It took me just under two hours to do all of this. Uh, I ended up just taking off the drop bar didn't even unwrap the tape and I did that just so I could easily throw this back on again. Uh, but because I did that, I had to replace all of the cables and the cable housing. So after testing the bike for a handful of days now, I've really come to like these Sora brake levers. They just feel really natural. Uh, they almost feel like an XT brake lever, which I really like. It's a little bit oversized, uh, but it feels really good. And then this Advent X trigger shifter, I think provides better overall shifting versus say the levers. It just feels really crisp. So these two products right here, I actually think provide better performance than what you get on the drop bar. The Ghost Grappler already comes with a super long reach. So once I threw some flat bars on, it actually shortened it up a little bit as I was no longer actually reaching out 
for the levers. But this also put my center of gravity slightly back a bit, which made the front end feel a little bit more twitchy. But obviously it still remained nimble and responsive. If you wanted to alleviate that twitchy feeling, I would highly suggest or recommend throwing a longer stem. This is a 50 mil stem, even if it was just a 60 or 70 millimeter stem. This bike was already really comfortable, but throwing on the flat bar definitely put me in a more upright position. Another thing I noticed was the flat bar simply gave me a bit more freedom to move around while standing on the climbs, while seated, and of course, while descending. Also worth mentioning, the Ghost Grappler comes with somewhat narrow bars, so being able to have a little bit more freedom up here for bike packing bags gives you a little bit more flexibility. On the flip side of that, removing the drop bars takes away multiple hand positions, but that's definitely a sacrifice that I never mind taking. With that all said, the bike is still designed for drop bars. It's still a rigid bike, and it's still not suspension corrected. And I could definitely tell a little bit on the descents. While it was a little goofy, I loved the feel of flat bars on the Ghost Grappler. And it certainly works, even if the engineers didn't plan on having a flat bar on this bike. But it's a Surly. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can throw a drop bar on it, a flat bar on it, corner bar. It's up to you. Overall, I really enjoyed the flat bar Ghost Grappler. I think my next move is to throw a little long flap saddlebag on the bars up here, throw some beer in it and ride around and enjoy the spring weather. So if you have any comments or questions regarding the flat bar ghost grappler, leave it in the comment section below. As always, until next time, pedal further.